Finally, there's an easy way to get thinking models running locally on your computer. Olama's latest release now supports thinking. I love this, and it's a bigger deal than most people think. Users now have the ability to enable or disable thinking for certain models, which will allow them to toggle between getting a faster response time or spending more time reasoning and getting a better quality answer. It also provides us with a better understanding and deeper insight into why the model actually comes to the response that it does. This really helps with evals and debugging and really understanding how your prompt is feeding through the system to get to the output. So head over to olama.com to get everything installed, and then this is where you're going to find the models that you can use. When you're on Olama's website, head to models, and then they actually now have the ability to filter by a thinking tag. And this will show you the models, for now it's just two, but this will expand, that are capable of thinking. So we have DeepSeeker 1 and Quen 3. And now to get them installed, when you go in to the model itself, they'll actually be the basic command you just copy into your terminal. If you need a certain quantization level, so say you have a smaller machine and you want a smaller model, you can select the exact thing here and just copy it there. Or if you happen to have the luck of having access to 400 gigabytes of RAM, you can use the full DeepSeek model. All of it can be hosted for Olama and now it supports thinking. When thinking is enabled, the output will be separated between the model's thinking and the model's output. And when thinking is disabled, the model will just give you the output. So once Olama is installed and you download the model, uh, as you can see, I've already got them both here. You just simply run it. So Olama, run, and then you name the model. And then let's say we want thinking enabled. You just pass in the think flag. And then when you ask it a questions like, how many R's in strawberry? That classic one. It'll actually show you the thinking tokens. And then when it's done thinking, it'll go towards the actual output and bring that to the screen. So as soon as you enable thinking, any type of thinking model is going to take significantly more time to finish, but it will get the correct answer. When you're inside the interact terminal, you can actually use the set command to say no think, and then it turns off thinking, or you can turn it back on, set think. Um, and that way you can kind of toggle it as you go if you want some responses to be faster than others. So to demonstrate that they can be faster, I could have just done it in that still, but Malama run Quinn three, and then you do set think to equal to false. And then that way it won't have thinking enabled. So if you ask the same question, how many R's in strawberry? You get the direct answer and not the whole thought process. Now, this question is definitely the training data now, so nothing too novel here. Um, but there is one more mode that I wanted to make sure I pointed out to you. Llama run Quinn 3, and that's hide thinking. So when you do hide thinking, it'll actually still do the how many R's in strawberry. It'll still do the thinking process, it just doesn't output the tokens. So this will be really good if you're using it to interact with the user and you don't want to show the thinking, but you still want the benefits of thinking. The only thing to keep in mind is there is more lag for the time to first token as it's perceived because the thinking happens in the background. But there you are. One other thing I wanted to show quickly is it's supported in the API, both the chat and the generate endpoint. So if you put in a curl request, which I will copy over here, you're actually able to set this parameter, this think parameter to true, and then you get the thinking output. Now, because I set stream to false, you're not going to see any of it till the whole thing comes in. And like I said, thinking responses always take a bit longer. When Olama does streaming, you get a full object for every word that comes out. So it's very verbose and it really is a little overwhelming. I had to jump ahead there a little bit because it took so long, but as you can see, it comes out with the answer. Also, has anyone else noticed that DeepSeek R1 thinking thinks a lot longer than the Quen 3? Let me know down below. So you don't only need to use it in the CLI, you can also use it in your projects. So Olama has a library both for Python and for JavaScript. So they have a quick example here that shows you they're pretty much the same. You import the Olama library, whatever package you need or whatever class. And then all you'll have to do is add the think equals true flag to either one of the response of the calls. And then in the response, it'll actually separate the thinking from the content. Thinking is just the thinking tokens. Content is the actual response that you're looking for. This is really good because it allows you to optionally display the thinking to the user or whatever end process you're using. But you can also store it without displaying it, which will help with you evaluating your prompts later. Is the model doing correct thought to get to where it is? We all remember we used to use chain of thought for all the models but now thinking is able to do that for you. So it makes it a lot easier. Olama supporting thinking is a great thing. It allows us to get the benefits of a local model, the privacy aspect, the controlling your own data, being able to run your own machine, not worrying about having an internet connection. 
along with the advanced capabilities of thinking models. You've heard about DeepSeek's R1 hype, and the thing is, you can now run this on your computer, and no data goes to China, everything stays right on your machine. This is another step towards the decentralization and democratization of AI, which is something that we desperately need. Please let me know down below what type of things you would use local thinking models for. They're much more capable than traditional models, and I really hope you try it out. Olama makes it very easy to do. If you want to get more AI tutorials, please subscribe and let me know the type of things you'd like to learn about. I'll see you next time.